I asked though, I said, Chief, have you ever sent somebody to Bensonville? Because I heard some of the soldiers went there and they, they, they bought into a safe and, uh, and, and took some money from there. He said, Hey, Lord, you are here with me. Why you can't go there? I said, How will I go there? You got to give me order. I can't take, my, I can't take myself and, and, and go to the place. He said, Okay, but where is Patrick Tuazama? I said, I don't know. Even though I knew where Patrick was, I said, I don't know. He said, Why? I said, Because I heard that some of you are, you are, you are, you are, uh, you are tribal boys want to kill Patrick Tuazama. He said, but who told you so? Then Gray was standing right at Gray said, what Luo said is right. Some of our boys been looking for Patrick to kill him. So he said, Luo, but you can't get Patrick? I said, well, I will try. Because when, when, when the coup took place, somebody took Patrick and hid him somewhere, and he came to me and, and told me, and said, we, we have Patrick somewhere, in somebody's warehouse. I said, you're keeping there until I talk to the door. So when this time came, I told him, I said, I will try and get Patrick. So Patrick's brother, who they call Samia Gay, he, he, he was a SSS man. So I called him, I told him, because we, are, we all are one. I, I said, uh, uh, do we like to see Patrick? He said, oh, can go. They will kill the man. I said, before they kill Patrick, I will be the first person because I'm putting my life on line for him. Before they brought Patrick, when they brought Patrick, Patrick came to me first. So I said, Patrick, don't be afraid. Nothing's going to happen to you. Let's go to the marshal. Patrick myself went to the marshal. When we went to the marshal, door, told him, he said, Patrick, don't be afraid. Luo already told me about you. So be calm. <coughs> you, will, you will select your own security to be guarding you, people that you trust. But I want to ask you a question. Then do have asked me this question before that uh, we, they heard that Toba buried money in the grave. I told him Toba did not bury any money in the grave. Because I was also close, uh, close to Toba in my civilian life and in my military life. So he asked, he told, he asked Patrick, Patrick said, no, Toba did not bury any money in the grave. What happened? We were, we were about to, to travel out of Liberia. So the money we were carrying, the money was supposed to be in Bensonville to his house. So he said, okay, I'm going to appoint some of you people to go there. But the, 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 the four person who I want you to handle everything is Kalungo Luo. He said, uh, DQ Nimle, Bole, and nine Crown soldiers, including Patrick. He said, Your goal. But the person who I, I would like for you to handle everything is Kalungo Luo. Because he's the one that I trust. I said, Okay, we went. And luckily for us, when we for us to bust the door, it took us four hours. But when we bust the door, we got into the room, the first room we got into that was his dress room. Those soldiers start fighting over the male clothes. And I was observing them. So when we went in his bedroom, we got a locker that these three presidential uh, uh, bears were, were inside. Patrick said, this is the locker that we had the, 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 the bear in here. So we took it. When we took it, it was locked. We wanted to uh, 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 throw it down through, uh, 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 from, from, from second floor. Then the whole thing came out. Then when we want to pull it down, it went by again and locked. So we repeat the, 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 the whole thing again. Then it came out, then I grab it. They set it down. I hold, I hold it, the, the, the drawers. Then I start taking the thing. I saw a whole lot of bank paper. I saw $20 uh, gold coin. I saw $25 gold coin. I saw $100 gold coin that the gold was biking our money. And the three bags, one black, one blue, one white. I took everything I put in one of the trays. And we carried downstairs and put in the 
gray Jaguar that Robert was using, bullet was driving it. So we left, and the soldier was riding a, a jeep. So we left, we went, we went in Marovia, we reported the whole thing, then bullet told me. He told Patrick and myself, Patrick was the only person who knew how to open those bags, because he had a butler to, to, to talk about. So Bully told Patrick and myself that you'll go home. We'll be, we'll be out the whole day. We all are exhausted. So you'll go home and come by 5 o'clock. So Patrick can open this bag so we can look into it and see what is there. After we left, we came home. Behind us, they took Bennett and bought those bags. How I managed to know that money was in it, it was the man who was those uh, 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 AD camp. He was a man of boy, General C from Ganta. When we got there, I went to do. I went to do street. I said, Chief, we are here. So he told me, he said, oh, Bolle told me so so papers were in those bags. I said, no, it's not true. He said, well, that's what Bolle told me. So the half hour I went, half hour I stopped. I can't pass there. I don't want to argue with a man. So the young man, when I was about to go out, he followed me, he said, he said, he married, he said, go make it. He said, my man, what happened? You are brought that kind of money to, uh, 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 to the people. OK, the money business, we're saying, get to know. Tomo Kumba get to know. And all the council people get to know. When Tomo is aware, and we're saying is aware, you know, all the council people got to know. So they went in meeting for that money business. They told Do and, and Bole to bring the money. The money was not for them. It was for Liberian people. Because when I went to my then come from there, he will, he will sometimes breed me too. But there was no hay, no tail to that money. But Wesson was following that money business all the time, telling Doe telling, uh, uh, to, to bring the money. If he doesn't bring the money, it will not be good. So my own analysis, that how I get to say that, Wesson was not, was not planning no who for do at the money business. 